his partner's just walking him up the hill or he's just walking them up the hill or he's just doing something else instead. And the whole time I'm looking at him and I'm looking at the men, and I'm thinking none of them are even going to try to pick this up and walk with them, see what happens. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we are talking about leaks, leaky men and leaky manhood. Now, what the hell does that mean? We're going to break it down. It's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be useful and absolutely needed, especially at this time and in these times, the way manhood and masculinity and all this stuff is is up for grabs and doesn't even make any sense anymore. And if people try to change what this shit means, we're talking about leaky manhood. And we're going to get to that here on the Steve Eckert Show, which is a show on how, how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome and destroy obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, your business, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together and start living life on your own freaking terms, all while you create your own personal freak freedom lifestyle. And we always are talking about transforming you from where you are to where you want to be, need to be, and deserve to be. And you can't have transformation. You can't have real transformation and real change when you are leaking, when you are leaking. And what the hell does that even mean? Well, let's let's go to the definition of leaky. And leaking or leaking, whatever the hell you want to call it, is, is allowing a liquid or a gas to escape or drip out or ooze or waste away. Think about that. You're letting it escape, drip out, ooze out. And that's like the word, the best one I like. Also wasting away. But because it's not really even escaping, it's almost being oozed out. It's oozing out when you see the way that men act these days. They're unsure about which fucking bathroom to use and all these other things and genders and all this other shit that gets forced down your throat. It's just leaking manhood. Manhood is leaking out and it's just, it's, it's turning into this ooze and men are just wasting away because they don't want to rock the boat. They want to stay comfortable. They don't want to be un uncomfortable. They want to be Mr. Freaking nice guy. And they're wasting away. And how are they doing that? By wasting freaking energy. They are wasting their energy. That's what oozing is. Like your energy and your motivation is, is a direct reflection on how you are showing up to the world. And we did a whole entire episode a couple weeks back on motivation, how motivation is not fake. Motivation is not bullshit and fleeting and all this other stuff that your favorite gurus want to tell you. Motivation and energy is needed. Yes, also discipline is needed, but it, th this motivation and energy is, is a direct reflection on how the hell you're showing up with the world. And men are leaking this energy and this motivation and a motive for action. They're leaking it out and just wasting away their fucking lives by wasting away their manhood about what we were created for as men and what our purpose is. There's a future upcoming episode all on that, like just the purpose of man. We did once before on the freak fathers and what it means to be a freak father, but there's one just coming up just literally on the purpose of man. So leaking, where else are we leaking? Men are leaking in just being living their, their best self and they're just bullshitting it and faking it and conforming to society and giving in. And you see like in the freaking Super Bowl, where in the, in the end zone, it says, I don't even watch it. I just saw some screenshots on, on social media where it just says end racism. Like, like that's going to stop freaking racism that you painted it on an end zone in a football game. Like that to me is leaking manhood leaking your energy, leaking morals and values. Yeah, there's bad motherfuckers out there that are doing bad shit and stupid shit, but I'm pretty sure seeing it on the football thing, they're not going to just stop doing what they're doing and being who they are because it's there. And this is, is where that we're just being, men are just being forced to, to ooze out their fucking manhood. And it's fucking crazy. And, and they're, they're leaking also. We deal with men on a regular basis, literally now tens of thousands of men and a, a good amount of those thousands and thousands in person, like in personal connections, one-on-one, -on -one, thousands of them. And we talk about what, what are your biggest struggles or what's the, the worst thing that ever happened to you in your life or what's the trauma that's holding them back or what's the bottleneck in their life as an adult? And these are men from all, all ages, all races. We're talking 30-year-old, 40-year-old, 50-year-old, 60-year-old men 
that are from all different parts of the country and all different parts of the world, even multiple different countries, all different industries, different races, different religions, different types of income. And it's always something back to their childhood, back to their daddy issues, which leads to the drinking and alcohol, which leads to their issues with their family and women and whatever else. So they're, they're held back by their childhood, by this little boy trapped inside this man's freaking body. And, and that's still holding them back. That is the ultimate leaking of manhood when you're still acting like a little fucking bitch boy because of shit that happened to you decades ago. And now you're not being the type of man that you were fucking created to be on this freaking planet. And you're leaking this energy. You're leaking this, this motivation. You have no motivation. You're even leaking discipline. It's, this is what a leaky man is. And then, then you, you have all these bullshit excuses and you, you can't keep promises to yourself. When, whenever a man tells himself he's going to do something or wants to do something and he doesn't do it, or he goes against the promises that he just kept to himself. Yeah. You need to keep promises to other people, but it starts with yourself, motherfucker. Cause, because you, a leaky man will fucking justify everything. Oh, I didn't do that. It's okay that I didn't do that. And they'll talk shit about someone else for doing the same fucking thing. But when they do it themselves, they'll justify it. That's a leaky motherfucker. This is a drifter. This is a floaty, flighty, bitch ass motherfucker. That's what a leaky man is. They'll justify everything. The same shit that they'll criticize someone else about and talk about someone else's character. When else someone else does it, it's that person's character. But when they do it, it's justifiable. It's okay. They'll make fucking reasons for it. That is leakiness. That is being a leaky fucking dude. They'll justify shit. Or even if a man wants to do something and he bitches out because he's afraid or he's unsure or he doubts himself, fear, doubt, procrastination, all leakiness. There, we, shit, we were doing a, a workshop and it was about 40 men, 40 or 50 men, Masogi, and there, there was they were a, a part where they had to carry their partner. It was a boxing drill. They had to carry, pick up their partner, carry him about 10 steps, put him down, and then throw 10 punches. Then pick him up, walk 10 steps, put him down, 10 punches. There was one dude there, this, this Pacific Islander Samoan dude, big, big dude, solid fucking guy, big freaking dude, but short, just, just a, a house, a brick house. He weighed... 340 pounds and it's time for the lifting part and his partners are just kind of pushing him across the, the yard. There's a part on the walking him up a hill. His partner's just walking him up the hill or he's just walking them up the hill or he's just doing something else instead. And the whole time I'm looking at him and I'm looking at the men and I'm thinking none of them are even going to try to pick this motherfucker up and walk with him. See what happens. See if you just crumble, but at least try. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, shit, I'm talking about them about it, but then I'm thinking about myself. I'm like, well, can I even fucking do it? And then I'm telling myself, well, you got a fucked up knee right now. You have a, a, a fucked up neck and you also have a, a bulging hernia that you've needed surgery on for like eight months. So you shouldn't even, you shouldn't even think about trying it. And I'm realizing I'm being that same leaky little bitch. This is all part of the inner bitch. The leakiness is the inner bitch that oozes out of you when you don't even realize it. That's what the leakiness is. It's like a little inner workings of the inner bitch, the demon that's inside of you that's fighting against you. So I started even saying to myself, oh, well, you shouldn't try it because of this, this, and this. No, no, no. The reason why that leakiness was coming out, that inner bitch was coming out is because I didn't want to go and try it and not it not happen. So I'm, the whole day for hours, I'm thinking, could I actually pick this motherfucker up and walk with him? I'm 180 fucking pounds, chicken legs. Can I do it? And it, it was for like the first, it was like a 12 hour event for literally the first like seven, eight, nine hours. And then they were, doing this event where they had to pick him up and punch him. This was like eight or nine hours into this event. I'm like, you know what? No one is picking them, picking them up. And I told myself, I said, I'm not even going to be able, I will lose sleep over this for not even trying. If I, I've been thinking about this all day, I've been battling all day. I'm being a little bitch. I'm leaking my own fucking manhood. Just thinking about this. I'm like, I got to fucking try this. I'm like, big man, come here. He's like, what's up? I'm like, I want to try this out. I want to say everyone's avoiding you. They're not even attempting it. I want to see if it's even possible. So I just had to get low. I had to bear hug him 
and I didn't, I didn't even go for on my back because this one was supposed to be just like kind of underhook him and you just pick him up and walk forward with him or even onto your shoulder. So I just bear hugged him. We're like nuts to nuts, but whatever, I was going to do whatever it took. And I picked him up off the floor, 340 something pound dude, walked my 10 steps with him, put him down, picked him up again and walked the 10 steps with him just to sh- to see if I could do it. Cause I knew if I didn't at least attempt it and let the hernia just fucking explode out of my body, I'd rather have tried it and literally fucking intestines fucking explode out and rip all over the dirt lot there than sit there and not find out if I have what it takes, if I could do it, what the fuck I'm made of, if it's even possible. Cause that shit would have eaten away at me. It would have been leaking out over time. This leakiness sometimes isn't just like a boom, an explosion. This leakiness happens little bits at a time, that little bit of manhood that oozes out from you because you you have that fear and that doubt and you hold yourself back and you don't find out if you have what it takes. So you avoid these things and you, you justify them like men do all the freaking time, justify why they shouldn't do it, why they can't do it, why it's not possible not for them, not if they're in their life, their situation is different. We'll fucking justify everything. I know if I didn't try to pick this dude up and carry him, that I was going to be oozing and leaking my manhood and energy for, for days and weeks and probably months. I probably would have to track the dude down and go fly out to his home to fucking lift him up. I would rather let my hernia explode and literally see my intestines crawling on the ground like little fucking worms than not find out if I have what it takes. Like that's, the lengths I was willing to go to do this. And now you wonder why I have a fucking hernia because I do stupid shit like this. But that's besides the point. But that's what, what leakiness, that's a, a quick example that just popped in my head about recent leakiness, even for myself. Now listen, every one of these episodes, we're on like episode 50 now or whatever of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And I talk about all this stuff and I talk a lot of shit on here and I'm the asshole everyone needs in their life. And that's what I tell men in my one-on-one coaching programs and in the Freak Father Alliance, the men's group coaching program, I am the asshole that everyone needs in their life. But I've done all, I've been there and done all that and everything I'm talking about, all the shit I'm talking, I'm, I could just as easily talk it to myself. And half the time when I'm pulling up my phone and I'm going into a rant on, on Instagram, on a story or a live or a, or a podcast or whatever, I'm talking to myself, motherfucker. And if it's helping someone else out and someone else can relate to it, that's great. But in general, I'm fucking talking to myself because of what I'm going through myself, the leakiness I'm having as a man and the bullshit that I'm justifying. And this is something as simple as just picking a dude up. So imagine where else you're leaking in more serious areas where you're letting shit slide, where you know you should stand up and say something and you're letting shit slide. That's fucking leakiness. Procrastination and pushing things off and kicking the rock down the road is an ultimate form of leakiness. You are leaking your energy and your potential and your own fucking superpowers and your future by procrastinating, by avoiding tough conversations and situations and pretending shit doesn't happen. These are all areas of leaky manhood. Also having the wrong goals. You set the wrong goals. We just talked about this last week on the work-life balance show. Your goals are not aligned. Your priorities are not in place. You're not living according to your purpose. You're not using your superpowers. You you were given gifts from freaking God, these superpowers from God. You need to give back to the universe and use those superpowers. And when you don't use them, you are leaking energy. You are leaking potential. You are leaking purpose. You're even your passion is leaking. You're just a, a, a flighty, floaty motherfucker. Like you need to have the, 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 the goals that actually mean something to you. The wrong goals or goals not in alignment with the real lifestyle you want to live causes this leakiness. And that's why we're in this, the state we are. Comfort and ease causes leakiness. The fact that I can go on fucking Amazon right now and I could order something on my fucking phone right here, right now. And if it's something that's nearby, it could be here today within two hours. And I could watch and stare at my phone and watch a little picture of a stupid little cartoon Amazon truck on a map and see when that motherfucker is going to show up to my doorstep to bring me the stupid shit I ordered that I probably didn't even need. And that caused us to be fucking soft and weak and less self-reliant. And then uh, we want instant gratification. Instant gratification is leakiness. Not having delayed gratification is leakiness. Wanting shit right now and demanding it. And then we act like little bitches when we don't get it. And our cell phone doesn't work and we talk shit or we don't get our way. We pout like little bitches. That little bitch boy that's trapped inside of us, that is fucking leakiness. When we let motherfuckers distract us, 
it's leakiness. You know that when, when you are working on something, it could take 15 to 25 minutes to get into flow state, 15 to 25 minutes of, of focused, intense work on the same thing with no distraction, 15 to 25 minutes just to get into flow state. Now you just started the flow state at the 25 minutes. So now you're finally getting effective work done, real effective work at like 10 X work compared to the just half-assing and just getting started and getting the wheels rolling. So it takes 15 to 25 minutes to get into flow state. You know, every time you get distracted or interrupted, it takes 15 to 25 minutes to get back to the thing you were doing. So if I'm doing task A, I get distracted. No matter how much time I've been doing, I get distracted. It takes me 15 to 25 minutes to get back to task A. So that's just to get back into doing it. And I'm getting distracted, not even by the thing that distracted me. The men, we get distracted and it leads us down all these, all these rabbit holes of doing other stupid shit. So I'm distracted from thing A. It takes me 15 to 25 minutes to get back to just starting thing, task A. And then it takes another 15 to 25 minutes again to get into flow state. So you could go through this fucking cycle of starting a task, not even get into flow state, your freak flow, get distracted, take 15 to 20 minutes to start it again. 15 to 20 minutes to get into to flow again and get distracted before you get there again. You could go a whole fucking day, a whole week, your whole motherfucking life without getting into that freak flow state if you allow distractions and interruptions and bullshit to come and zap you of this time and energy and life. That is leakiness. When you're distracted and you're interrupted and you can't get into that freak flow state where you're doing 10x work instead of the 2x work like the book says, you are leaking fucking energy. You're leaking life force. You're leaking your manhood. You're leaking your purpose, your potential, and, and you're not going to get it back. You're leaking it. It's fucking gone. It's fucking crazy. You're oozing energy when you're, going, you're not taking short little breaks. And when you have different tasks and a transition time in between tasks. So if I'm doing a, a say you're having a, a meeting with an employee, a disciplinary meeting because they're not hitting their numbers and living and, and working according to the core values and standards. You have to have a disciplinary meeting with, a, with an employee. And right after that, you have a, a sales meeting with a big client and you have no time in between those two things. Now you're here, you have one type of energy. Now you go into the other task where you need to have a whole complete different type of approach and, and show up a whole different way and you're showing up with a whole different energy, but you're leaking that energy from one task to the next because you didn't have a transition time in between to release that energy and the negativity and distraction and release that tension and, and an abrasiveness from the one task so you can set and become intentional for the upcoming task. When you don't do that, your energy is leaking from one to the next. If you don't have that transitional space, that, that in-between time, then you are going to be just half-assing both tasks. You're going to be on task A and be thinking about what's coming up task B. When you're on task B, you're still thinking about how you fucked up task A because you didn't have that time in between to clear your fucking head. So you're oozing and leaking energy and, and focus onto both of them. And now you're half-assing two things instead of doing two things with full fucking excellence. You're doing both things half X instead of 10 X, not even half ass, just half X instead of 10 X. You know, what else is leaking is when you are complaining and blaming and making excuses. You are literally leaking knowledge and brain power. Your brain is literally shrinking when you are complaining and blaming and making excuses. And there were are the studies on this, this is fucking science. It sounds like it's just me making up some whacked up idea. But when you, when you create excuses and you blame other people and you're bitching and complaining and moaning like a little bitch boy, your brain is literally shrinking because your brain wants the easiest way to complete a task. So when you have a task in front of you and you complain about it or blame someone else or make excuses for it or procrastinate, you are teaching your brain, oh, this, when tasks come along, bullshit, lie, cheat, steal, complain, bitch, moan, and it creates these short little smaller pathways instead of coming up with solutions and working through it where you're improving, improving the size and the power of your brain, you're literally shrinking your brain and becoming dumber. So when you bitch and complain like a little fucking bitch that you act like sometimes, you are literally becoming dumber. And then when this happens, 
It also releases more cortisol, which makes you more unhealthy, which also makes you fatter. So by bitching and complaining and making fucking excuses, you're becoming dumber and fatter. You are leaking manhood by complaining and bitching. You're literally leaking it and leaking brain power. It's fucking nuts. You know where else you leak energy and leak manhood is fucking social media and all the stupid shit and all the videos and the shit you know you shouldn't be wasting your time on and watching and you're sitting there addicted to it and you're fucking scrolling and trolling comparing yourself to others living in resentment watching those fucking weird videos you shouldn't be fucking watching like a little fucking bitch instead of using that energy and and somewhere else in your life productively you're leaking it out on fucking social media on someone else's life or even you know what else is leaks energy that most men don't think about is fucking sports fucking sports. You'll watch it and you'll know all the statistics and you'll fight it, see it. And you'll talk about the, the football games and, and the, the quarterback that threw the interception to lose the big game. And you're so upset about it and you're all mad about it and all this other stuff. And you're putting this energy into some fucking sports team that doesn't give two shits about you. And you're leaking it out and not putting that, you could be putting that energy into your business, into your family, into your fitness, into your life, or even just reading a fucking book. You are leaking energy on the sports, on the social media, the stupid videos you shouldn't be fucking watching and all this other stupid shit, being resentful and comparing yourself to others. This is what leaky is. That was a, really, this is just a short, quick, punchy fucking video to tell you stop being a little bitch, stop leaking this energy, stop being floaty and flighty and flip floppy ass motherfucker. Like that's what this is about today. Lacking sleep. Also, you leak energy. We, we have entire episodes on sleep. We've talked about it many times. We'll even do an entire episode coming up on sleep, but that's another one to way of do it. If you want to know how to not be such a leaky man and leaking your manhood, leaking this energy into the social media and, and the sports and the complaining and blaming and making excuses and the lack of work-life balance and the distraction and having the unaligned goals and all this other bullshit that we're talking about, this is what we work on literally on a daily basis in the Freak Father Alliance. It's where I help entrepreneur, entrepreneurial fathers and men to develop a no excuses mindset where they build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning and attack their mission to create their ideal lifestyle and time freedom for their families. This is what happens in the Freak Follow Alliance, the men's mentorship group coaching program. If you want to stop being a leaky ass man, send me a message. I'll get you all the information. We'll get you up and running. We'll initiate your onboarding and get you rolling. It also includes a full access to our entirely separate Infinite Freak Fitness Formula online fitness program, the last training program you ever need, all included so you can stop leaking energy, stop leaking life, and stop leaking your manhood out there in the world and start living life on your own fucking terms and start being the type of man you're supposed to be where you're bringing order to the chaos and you are the one. We say it all the time. Be the one, motherfucker. Stop leaking. Stop being a drifter. Stop half-assing. Stop bullshitting. And start being a freak father. Be the one. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. I want to hear about where are you leaking energy and what are you going to do about it? I want to hear about it in the comments below. And if you want, send me a message about the free follow lines. I will get you hooked up. We can get you started as soon as today, get you up and running and onboarding. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.